Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of DC Collectors TV. Today we're taking a look at the Kenner Adventures of Batman and Robin Raz Al Ghul action figure. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is probably one of the first Raz Al Ghul action figures ever created for uh, a DC Comics, for the DC Comics character. And uh, it's a decent figure for its time. Now this if you recall, this is a like a mid '90s, probably 1995 release here. Uh, so, sort of getting towards the end of the Batman the Animated Series run, but it's still a great action figure to have just because it is Rise Al Ghul, and you know this is, we've never seen him in action figure form before. So let's just take a quick look at the box here. Get the nice look at Raz, Raz, however you want to say it. There's even an offer here for an exclusive Batman and Superman action figure. Let's pull it open. This is for the Total Justice uh, two pack. I remember actually sending this off to get the two pack at the time, which is kind of cool. So it's kind of cool it's still attached to the card. Let's look at the back of the card here. Before we rip him open, uh, gives you a nice look there. Look at some of the other figures in this particular line. You notice there are lots of variant variations of Batman and Robin because you know, kids need all kinds of Batman and Robins. You know, they want the radar scope Batman or the bullet trap Robin, tornado Batman, cyber gear Batman. Because you, you can never have enough. And then the one lone Bane action figure. And of course, a few deluxe uh, figures and vehicles there. Here is the proof of purchase and all that kind of good stuff if you need it. Alrighty. So that's it. Let's open this guy up and see what the figure's like. Actually, pretty cool figure. Just comes in a if you're looking at the paint apps here, he comes in green, yellow, with a little brown and black mixed in for good measure. It's a animated Batman the Animated Series animated style, so you're, you're going to get the animated sculpt from from the figure. Look at just to kind of get a good look at the figure from head to toe. We will flip him around so you can look. Get a good look at the back of the figure here. If you're looking for any kind of uh, information, you can see it on the leg right there. This is, yep, 1995. Trademark, copyright, 1995, DC Comics Incorporated. Wow. So this figure is pretty cool. He doesn't have that much articulation, but hey, this is a 90s figure, so it didn't have that much articulation. You know, he can move his head side to side. That's it. I'm sure it could turn all the way around, but you got this collar piece here that's keeping his goatee from letting his head turn. So that's as far as he's going to turn with his head, but you don't need that much. With the arms, they turn all the way around. The legs, woo, he can kick. And it can go back that far because, you know, if you ever needed it to go back that far, but, you know, not worried about that. Let's take a look at some of the accessories that comes with him. Here is his mask. And this one's kind of gummy, probably from sitting in that package and, you know, for a little while. So it's getting a little bit slimy. See how this attaches to his face. You can see just a hole right there. So. And it's not, and it's made of sort of a, sort of a rubbery plastic, so no worries about it scraping up the paint or anything. And there you go, he has his full mask. Here is his sword, nice gray sword. Do you see here that you can stick right in his hand, so he can let loose on Batman if he needs to. And of course, it's not a 90s action figure without some sort of uh, big weapon that shoot, that's like a missile launcher type thing. So here's the missile here's the missile thing that shoots. Here's the missile launcher. Stick it in there. And of course you press the red thing down. Boom, and it knocks him down. So we'll stick that back in there and we will put it in his hand just 
for grins and giggles to show that he can hold it. And there is the complete Raz Al Ghul Batman the Animated Series action figure. So again, this is going to be a short video. It's a it's an older BTAS figure, so I'm not, not much to really review on it other than to show it off a little bit here and just kind of say I think don't quote me on this. If I'm wrong, please leave a comment, but I think this is the first Ra's al Ghul action figure ever produced. Well, let's take this out of his hand. He's not going to display with that on my shelf anyway. Maybe the sword, and we'll take the top, the, the mask off him as well. There he is, Ra's al Ghul. Very cool action figure. Hey, if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. You can always check me out at dccollectors.com each and every day for the latest DC Comics toys and action figure news and reviews. And also you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at DC Collectors. Peace.